While we were working the uh, uh, Cape Romaine uh, project, the, the pirate wreck, uh, I had heard through some uh, friends of ours about a, uh, some uh, treasure that was found in the Bahamas. So while my guys were working there, I took a flight over to the Bahamas and met with this guy that had found uh, a bunch of silver coins. And he showed me a big pile of silver coins on his desk and he said, you know, uh, we can work together on this and, you know, um, uh, split it and blah, blah, blah. Well, that sounded really fascinating to me because there was a pretty good stack of silver coins on his desk. And I thought, you know, there's probably a lot of other neat things there. We, we just, we sailed over to the Bahamas and uh, the guy was supposed to get us a permit, but he said, well, you know, the permit process is uh, going to take longer than we thought. So in the meantime, we decided, well, let's just go and uh, check out the wreck site. And uh, you don't need a permit to just go, you know, poking around diving. And as long as we didn't take anything, which we knew we weren't going to. So we went diving, we found the wreck, and uh, uh, dove on it. And uh, we had, uh, we saw these wooden ribs sticking out of the sand. And so we started using the metal detectors, but the metal detectors really didn't work well because there's thousands of spikes bronze spikes, iron spikes, and all, just all kinds of stuff there. And we did some, you know, digging around and things like that, and that's where I saw my first 20-foot hammerhead shark swim over me. Scared me half to death, but, you know, he didn't bite me or anything. He just kept looking at me like I was a, a tidbit. But anyways, it was a pretty big fish. Uh, anyways, we really didn't find anything of super value there, and Anyways, the guy that I had made the deal with had left and went to the States for a month or so, so I didn't see him again. And we kind of called that off and said, well, let's go down to Florida. Uh, uh, we we're going to meet with Mel Fisher, and uh, we left the Bahamas. But after we left, I found out that the coins weren't found where the wreck was. It was found, there's a little reef that the boat hit and sank. Well, the, the treasure was on the other side of the reef. That's where he had found the coins. He says, you were on the wrong side of the reef. Well, we didn't know that, so it's still there waiting. Well, I'd love to go back and check it out knowing what I know today, but the Bahamas, it's pretty tough to get a permit today. You can get one, and they're just starting to open it up again, but uh, I might go down there and check it out one day. For full episodes and more extra footage, please visit www.shipwrecks.net.